So he's mixed, right? He's he's half black, half Norwegian. And all my buddies were like, man, that's like the opposite ends of the spectrum, man. That's going to be nuts. He's going to have a lot of racial issues later. Are you ever going to have the race talk with him? I was like, he's 10 months old. I already had the race talk with him. <laughs> months ago. Made a whole day out of it. I made a PowerPoint, showed it to him. He cried, threw up on me. He was very upset. And it got me to thinking, man, I was like, man, what am I actually going to teach him later? Because he's at least going to look like me, you know? So he's going to have a lot of stuff that he's going to have to deal with. And really, the only thing I would be able to tell him right now is anytime somebody comes at you sideways, like with hate, racially, or anything like that, don't match their hate. Outsmart that stuff, you know? Be smarter than that. Like Tai Chi, use their momentum against them till they're in the mud, right? Like, you guys remember when all that Confederate flag stuff was going on? I didn't say anything, even though I felt so helpless. Like, the whole country was, like, in a rage. It was, felt like it was split right down the middle. There was one side that was like, it stands for slavery and hatred, and that flag needs to come down. Then there was the other side that was like, no, it stands for my pride and heritage, and that flag's going to stay up. And I didn't say anything. Then a couple days later, all these big box stores decide they're not going to sell the flags anymore. They announce it, right? Huge ones. Amazon, Walmart, a whole bunch of other ones. And I had to say something now. I didn't say much. I just asked one question. Where are all those flags? That's it. That's all I wanted to know. The flags that they were selling before, because at the moment they said they weren't going to sell the flags anymore, they had just been selling those flags. (laughs) Right? They were up on the shelf or stocked for online purchases. That means they had to take them down and put them somewhere. I wanted those flags. So I set up a GoFundMe to buy up all the surplus Confederate flags left in this country. Man, Nate, you're a black dude. Why would you want all those Confederate flags? Because there were still people out there that wanted them. Okay? And I wanted to be the sole proprietor of Confederate flags in this country. (laughs) Oh, Nathan, it stands for my pride and my heritage. All right, that's fine. That's totally cool. I'm not going to argue with you. Believe whatever you want about what it represents. I just want you to have to pay a black dude to get it. (laughs) How many black people are in here? I should have asked that up front. Three people? This is bullshit. All right. Gosh damn it. Tell your other black friends about these jokes. All right. (laughs) <laughs> Let them know it was a sea of white people that feel very guilty about stuff and won't just laugh in my face about the jokes that I'm telling, okay? It's context. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the second part. <laughs> Is a black dude right there? I'll just talk to you. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Black people are not going to get reparations, right? We've come to terms with that. It's not going to happen. The only way black people in this country will get reparations is if both sides feel like they're getting something out of the deal, right? So you have to figure out your own way. And if I got to sell you the flag of a losing team to get my money, then so be it. (laughs) It's not even my flag. I'm selling your design back to you. (laughs) That's 100% profit, right? You can call me whatever racial slur you want, as long as at the end you call me a damn good businessman. (laughs) So if I could just teach my son that, that would be fantastic.